All right, all right, I'm live on YouTube. Okay, so I'm live on YouTube. All right. So now I'm going to do my weekly hit list. I'm Tyree Thomas Jr., the Forex Trading Blogger. I'm doing my um, my weekly hit list, my DeLorean for Binary Forex Trading weekly hit list. And uh, it's not showing that I am live on YouTube. Well, it's not showing that it's broadcasting live the way it's supposed to. But I know I'm live, so I'm going to go on. And I'm going to get started with this. And I'm not going to be long. So let me share a screen. Let me go to where I need to share a screen. And I utilize three. I, I, I mean, let, me, let me share a screen first. OK. Now you should be able to see the screen in about, it's a 30 second delay, just about a 30 second delay. So you should be able to see it soon. All right. Yeah, you can see me right now, but there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I can go on and do the do the list. Okay, so let me move me over to the left over here out of the way. Okay, I'm Tyree Thomas Jr., the Forex Trading Blogger. I create I, every week. I do the lower. I do a weekly hit list. And what is the hit list? A list of parents that I can trade during the week that's ready to be traded. I'm utilizing the DeLorean strategy. I use this list also to trade binary. There are three colors that go to this list, purple, green, and blue. Now I'll show you like right here. Purple, orange, and green. That's what it is, purple, orange, and green. The red is what I always trade, trade regardless. But the purple represents the pairs that qualify for Forex, and I'll explain that. The orange are the pairs that qualify for binary, and the green are the pairs that qualify for binary and forex. And there's three parts of the DeLorean strategy that I use to create this list. This is all, I'm also a member of IM Academy, and I usually have my co-host, Ms. Judy Robin Gunn, who's in Perth, Western Australia. But right now, it's, uh, they're asleep over there, so I had to go ahead and get this list done, even though it's the Christmas weekend. So I utilize three steps of the DeLorean strategy. The three-day cycle, I use blue waves, and let me see, three-day cycle, blue waves, and um, yes, three-day cycle, blue waves, and I and um, I use the, the entry. We have three entries that we can use. Oh yeah, three-day cycle, blue waves, and, and, and the, the entries. And there are three entries to that, three signature entries. That's the vector, the 50-50 bounce, and the BTS. So right now I'm going to go on, and this is done on a 15-minute time frame. So I'm going to go on, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna take this off where I have more room. Now, um, I always start with A, with A cat. I go in alphabetical order, and then I continue to move. So right now, let me see what A cat does. Don't look like it may qualify. And it doesn't. But it does qualify for binary. Let me put my glasses on. So ACAD, A U D, C A D, qualifies for binary. And the price point is 097523. I always write that down. 097. Five, two, three. Now the parents have to end on a certain number for it to qualify for binary. And on my list, if it qualifies for binary, I give it a start. If it qualifies for four X, I give it a check. If it qualifies for both, I give it a start and check. And I also put an orange color over here for binary. So, and I measure 61 pips. And what level is this on? It's on the second level. Yes, it's right on the second level, right at the beginning of the second level. And it's a second level buy. And I can tell that by the position of the EMAs. 
And I also go to the four four hour time frame. And the four hour time frame tells me is on a second level buy, getting ready to go to the third. Hey, getting ready to go to the third. Actually, that is third level. Yeah, it is on third level. It's getting ready to turn around. But then again, I'll let I'll still say second level because I know it's going to retrace for for all. I'll say second level because I know it's going. I know what it's going to do. So even though it's at the beginning of the third, I know what it's going to do. So I'll say second level buy, and it'll end up going to the third. So that tells me that this pair of time the market opens is going to have some activity. So now I go back to. 15 minute and I move on to the next one. AUDCHF, it does not qualify for binary. Let's see if it qualifies for Forex. Don't look like it will qualify, but we're gonna see. No, it does not qualify for Forex, so I continue to move. Now AJ does not qualify for binary. Let's see if it's gonna qualify for Forex. And it just may. And it does qualify for four rates, 42 pips. And the price point, 78718. And it gets a check and it gets a purple. And let's see here, AUDJPY. And it's trading, it's a second level, or it's, it's on a third level. Third level buy, two hour, third level. And I'm gonna go check the four hour, see where it, is, where it sit at. Oh, wow. Wow, that's definitely third level. Look like it may be getting to a third another level, but it's just gonna turn around. So four hour is third level. Third level buy. I know it's getting ready to turn around. And it's uh, let me see 15 minutes. So I'll say trade away. Okay, now I go to a I go to AUDNZD. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's in a reset. Look like it's going to go into sale. It is sale. So it's first level reset. AUDNZD did it qualify for binary? No, it didn't. Let's see if it qualified for forex before I write this down. No, it didn't qualify for either one, so I don't have to write it down. I keep it moving. Did this qualify? Okay, AUD USD did qualify for binary. Let's see if it qualified for Forex. Yes, it qualifies for Forex, 35 pips. I mean, it qualifies for binary. And it qualifies for Forex. So it gets a star and a check. And this is 075937. All right. And I'm Tyree Thomas Jr., the Forex Trading Blog. I'm a member of IM Academy. I'm an IBO. My co host, Ms. Judy Robin Gunn, is not with me right now. Judy is. Western Australia, she's asleep. Now, in the chat and in, in the link, I mean, in the description below, there's a link to information to get more information on how you can make an appointment with me and speak with me. I also have your phone number down there, and you can speak with me to get more information on how you can become a member of IM Academy, joining our team. So, this is third level. So, it's third level buy, is AUD USD. Third level buy. And that means it's going to be fourth level buy, probably a turnaround. Oh, it is on the, 
He's getting ready to turn around too. He's done to had his weak trading, so yes, he's getting ready to turn around. He's right at the third level. For our third level buy. Gonna turn around. So I go back to the 15 minute and get ready to start another one. Okay. See that's trading away from the blue. Okay, now I go to the CAD pairs. Okay, so AUD gets a green, AUD USD gets green. Now I go to the CAD pairs. And I'm trying to do this very timely. Not going to do much teaching at the moment. And if you stay on at the end, I'll have something I'll share with you. Let's see. So this CAD, CHF, let's see if it qualifies for Forex. It's not a binary pair, so it does not qualify for binary. And I keep it moving because it does not qualify for Forex. So I can take that off. Well, CAD, CHF does qualify for binary. So that it gets an orange. And it's 13 pips. 13 pips. CAD, CHF. And it quantifies from binary. And the pair is 069380. All right. And it's on the Third level, third level buy. Even, even if I tighten it up, I can see what the level is on. See, I can see what level is on depending on what the, the EMAs. And, and because I've done this long enough, I, whether I tighten it up or not, I can see what it is. So third level buy. Fourth level should also be a buy. Possibly retracement. Yep. Retracement. Ah, it's in it's doing a sale. Okay. Second level sale. Actually it retraced back to the first level. So four hour. And I'll just say looking at where it is now, second level sale. I'm just gonna say first level because it has not come back. So right now we're sitting in the first level sale. I know it's got to complete, but you don't know what it's going to do, if it's going to turn back around or not. So that's um, it's trading toward the blue. OK. Now I go to CAD J. CAD J is not a binary pair. And I can tell right now it does not qualify for four rigs. It's too close. So I keep it moving. Let's see HF. JPY qualifies for binary. Let's see if it qualifies for four rigs. It does qualify for four rigs. And is that, let me see, 116.287. So it, it gets a star and a check. It qualifies for both. And it's on a second level sale. Yes, it is, second level sale. And the CHF, JPY. Second level sale. And it should be a first level sale on four hour. Yep. It's retracing to go back. Oh. No, this is third, it's going to third level, third level buy. Okay, so that makes sense. Third level buy. It's getting ready to drop. It's complete the third level and it's getting ready to drop. But it's still going to be third, four hour, third level sale.
third level cell. And it's going to remain that way until it, until it drops. But I can tell now that it's going to drop. I can actually make that first level cell because the EMAs are together. So CHSJPY is going to be first level cell instead of second level. It's still on the first level. Okay? So, so make a correction on CHSJPY. It's first level cell on a 15 minute time frame. And it gets a green. For those of you watching, those colors make, they have a reason why I use those colors. Purple is for four X. Green is, I mean, orange is for binary. Green is when both of them qualify for X and binary. So now we go to the EU pair. It does not qualify for binary. Let's see if it's going to qualify for four X. And it had to stop on a certain point for it to qualify for binary. So it does not qualify. And the reason why I had red, because I trade e EA. I'm going to come back after I finish this broadcast and Re, we changed the color, so let's see what ECAD does. Okay, I can tell ECAD is not going to qualify for either one. It does not qualify for binary, and it does not qualify for forex. So I keep it moving. What about EGF? Don't look. Okay, it does not qualify for binary. Let's see if it's going to qualify for forex. Okay, it does qualify for four rates. 31 pips. EUR, CHF, 31 pips. And 1.08509. Qualifies for four rates, so it gets a purple. And is on a third level buy. It's going to third level buy. It's completed the second level. When, yeah, I'll say third level buy. And let's see what it looks like on a four hour. Yep, third level. For our third level buy. Let's see. And it's, yep, trading away. CHF, what is that? Let me see. Trade away. Okay. Okay. Now go to EG. 15 minute time frame. It qualifies for binary. Let's see if it qualifies for Forex. Does not qualify for four rates, 65 pips. And is 089975. And it qualifies for binary, so it gets a star. And this is EURGBP. Let's see here. And it's going to a third level. Right now, it's right on the third level. Yep, I can see it. Right on the third level. Getting ready is at the beginning of the third level. So the third level sale. And let me see. Third level sale, what is the four hour? Four hour was still in the buy. Four hour, four hour was in the third level buy, and it's getting ready to drop. 
So we say four hour third level buy. This is consistent with EURCHL. All right, the market's gonna have some action this week. Okay. Now we go to, and then that gets a orange, orange color for binary. Now we go to EJ. Last week, EJ qualified. Let me take these lines off. I use those lines with a strategy that I learned from Mr. Curtis Cobain Branch. Now, this is in a first level reset buy. It's resetting. Uh, yeah, yeah, reset buy. Did not qualify for binary. Let's see if it qualifies for Forex. No, it does not. So I keep it moving. Take that check out, that cut off. And EN qualifies for binary. Let's see if it's going to qualify for, oh, EN. Yeah, EN is a binary pound. Let me see. So it's 80. No, it does not qualify for four rigs. It's 80 pips. So EN. E U R N Z D and one seven eleven fifty seven. And it qualifies for binary. So let me give and it has the binary color. And it's um it's second level, fifteen minute second level sale. It's on its way to the third level. And it's trading away from that blue, okay. First level. Yeah, it's coming. It's first level sale. Hmm. Let me take a look at this again. Sale. Okay, it is a sale. First level sale. Fall first level sale. This pair is moving slow for a reason. Yeah. First level sale, and it's trading away. Okay, now I'll go to EU, and EN did qualify for binary, so it got orange. EU does not qualify for binary, and it does not qualify for four rigs. EU is one of the favorite pairs of the binary educators. So I keep it moving. I go to G U B T A U D. It does not qualify for binary. It don't look like it's going to qualify for four weeks either. And it does it. Wait a minute. Look like it does. Or it does not qualify for binary. Okay, so I keep it moving. GK, one of the pairs I like to trade. SY is red. Does not qualify for Forex. Does not qualify for binary. So I take that off. GHF does not qualify for binary. Let's see if it's going to qualify for Forex. No, it does not qualify for Forex, so I keep it moving. GJ qualifies for binary. Let's see if it qualifies for Forex. 
is one of five wise men, but it still does not qualify. Too many pips. GJ. And it gets a star, so let me give it a star. And is there 140, 267? Okay, so it's on the third level. Yes, it is, third level by. And I'm Tyree Thomas Jr., the Forest Trading Blogger, your people helping people person. I'm a member of IM Academy. I'm an IBO. I'm building a team. God and I are building a team. I am team great. And right now is on the second level. Getting ready to go to the third. Yes, it is. Second level. Second level, let me see, second level. Second level by. All right, moving right along. And it's trading away. I'm using the DeLorean Forex strategy. I trade the DeLorean Forex Trash strategy that was created by Mr. Tyrone Foster, an educator in IM Academy. I use that to trade Forex and binary. So now we go to, and GN is not a binary pair, but I'll still check it for Forex. And it does qualify for Forex. So I'll put it there, and it's 41 pips. And 190, 147, 1.90147. Give it a purple color, and it's a first level buy. That's second level buy, GBP NZD. And that's a buy, yes, that's a buy in the second level. It's not quite third level yet. It's retracing back. So it's not quite third level yet. Okay. And four hour. First level sale. Yes, yeah, to give me the change. So it's on the first level sale. That's consistent. Let me skip the first level buy. First level buy. All right, so I'll move on to the next pair, which will be GU. We're almost done with this. We're gonna get done in less than an hour. GU qualifies for binary. And it's 1.35310. Let me see if it qualifies for four X. No, it does not. It's 80 pips. Okay. And the second level by. What is a four hour? Four 
for our second level buyers on the way to the third level. Second level buy. Yep, second level. And a 15 minute time frame, trading away. Gonna be a lot of activity this week. Now we go to, okay, and this gets a binary, I mean, this gets orange for binary, it does not qualify for Forex. So this gets an orange. Now we go to NU. Well, NZ, NCAT. Wow, it does not qualify for binary because it's not a binary pair. And right now, looking at it, I can tell it's not going to qualify for Forex. Well, spoke too soon. It does qualify for Forex, 44 pips. And it's 091336. And this is NZD, CAD. And it's on the third level buy. Second level buy on its way to the third level. Four hour. is on his way to the second level. He's on his way to the third level, actually. But until it creates that high, it's on the second level, but until it breaks that high, it's still second level and not third level. So the second level buy. All righty. And it's trading away. It's actually reset. Reset first level on that. That's actually what it is, reset. So on NZD, C, NZD, CAD, it's actually reset. Now that I look at it, it's reset first level. Reset first level buy for NCAD. And it gets a purple because it's about Forex, but about not a binary. Now, that's second level. Let me measure this. NZDCHF is not a binary pair. And it barely made Forex. 47 pips. And it gets purple. And oh, let me write down the price point zero point six three three seven eight. It gets a check. I'm Tyree Thomas Jr., Forex Trading Blogger. I'm also a, a digital marketer. I build online and I use build all marketing platform, anybody that's building online, I have a business they want to put online, I can help you understand how to do that. And I'm one of the leaders in, in, in that company. Let's see, 15 minute. Fifteen minutes, second level. Definitely second level. NZDCHF. Second level buy. Where's the four hour? Should be first level. Four hours basically first level. And until it breaks, this is still, 
until it goes past that high, it's gonna be on the first level. If we did retrace, so it's first level. I mean, it's actually second level until it breaks that it won't be third. So it's four hours second level buy. And it's trading way. This lets me know what pairs are ready to, to move when the market start, comes up. And that's definitely trading away. Now I'm at NZD, JPY. It's not a binary pair. Let me see if it qualifies for Forex. Yes, it does. NZD, JPY. And the price point is 73726. Yes, a check. And is second level. It created it matched that high. So it's second level, second level, buy for the 15 minute. Mm -hmm. Should be first level four hour. Yep, first level. Actually, second level. Four hour, second level. Buy. All right. So that means this gets a purple. Now we move to NZD USD, which is a binary pair. Does not qualify for binary. Let's see if it qualifies for Forex. Barely, 26 pips. And it's at 071119. And it's trading away. NZD, USD, we're almost done. We have three more pairs to do. And we're going to finish before two o'clock. Okay, four hour. Four hour, definitely third level. Second level, let me go to second level. Second level buy. Four hour is going to be third level buy. Yep. Is at the beginning of the second level, going to the third level. So four hours, second level buy is at the beginning of it. Now we go to the last of the pairs. See, this is going to get purple, not green. And only qualify for one. So now we go to the last of the pairs, the U USD pairs. I can tell it's not, it didn't qu it qualify for binary. Let's see if it qualified for four legs. No, it's not. Oh, it's four hour. Let me go to 15 minutes. Does not qualify for four legs, but it does qualify for binary. 19 pips. 1.28425 binary and then it's first level sale USDCAD 
Christ level sale. Now let me take another look at that. Yeah. First level sale. Let's see what four hours is. Four hour. Is at the beginning of the third level. Sale. And that's second level, that's first level. It passed the reset, it reset now, so that's second level. I'm just gonna make it and call it second level. It is right on it. Now USD CHF. Now this pair is binary. UK is binary, so it gets the orange. Let's see what UHF is. See if it's gonna qualify for four X. It qualifies for binary. 34 pips, it qualifies for four X. Zero eight nine one one five. So it qualifies for both. It gets a check and a star, and it reset it out of the second level. It's on second level right now. Second level buy. Let's see what it is on the four hour. Third level sale. It's getting ready to change. It's getting ready to BTS. All right. Yeah, okay. So that gets a purple and that gets a green. We're on our last pair and we'll be finished. Okay, this qualifies. UJ is the favorite pair of the Forex, of the um, binary educators. Is one on three six six five that qualifies for binary. Let's see what it is for four X. I can tell you, don't qualify for four X. Eight pips. Eight pips. So it just gets a star, and it's resetting on the first level. First level reset by. What's the four hour? Four hour, third level sale. And it's BTS. All right, this concludes our DeLorean Forex strategy, DeLorean Forex binary strategy weekly hit list. We have ACAD, AJ, AU, CAD CHF, CAD JPY, EUR CHF, EUR GBP, EUR NZD. We have GBP JPY, GBP NZD, GBP USD, 
NZDCAD, NZDCHF, NZDJPY, NZDUSD, USDCAD, USDCHF, USDJPY. Those are the parents that qualified for the list this week. And uh, I said I was going to show you a little something um, right here. This is the link that you're going to see. When you click on it, you're going to see a site that I created. And I also created this, create one for my digital marketing platform that I'm building through Build All. But I use that site, to, I use that platform to also build this for the DeLorean strategy. As you can see, uh, this is me over here, and this is the information. I help you learn how to trade in four steps, trade forex in four steps. And right here, as you can see, you get the free training. Schedule a call with me, and then you start earning with Forex. Click right here. When you click right here, start training now. This is what's going to pop up. You put your information in here and set an appointment, and then uh, I'll get a notification that you set an appointment, and then we go from there. Here's more information here. Here's a young lady that I was working with and helping her. All of this information here. The same thing happened when you click on those lists and those tabs. So as you can see, free registration. And these are some of the people that are on the team that I work with. Ms. Judy Robin Gunn, my usual co-host. And again, you can find more information. If you click on this bottom right button here, it'll take you to the Build All Marketing Platform that I use. And if you want to get information with that, you click on that. And you'd have it right here. This is what you would have. See? Okay. So I'm Tyree Thomas Jr., your Forex trading blogger. I'm your people helping people person. And I want you to have a very good day. And as always, from me to you, God is saying, <laughs> oh, yes, he is. He's saying, be blessed. I'm Tyree Thomas Jr., the Forex Trading Blogger, your people helping people person. Happy New Year, and I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Take care. Bye-bye. Now, how do I stop the recording? It's a way to stop, and I always get to this point and then have problems with. Um, come on, YouTube. Let me stop the live. Uh, why does it always give me this problem?